Dreadnought, Dark Typing. There appears to be a number of remarks that points to Dreadnought having an aggressive nature. For one, the dex entries mention how it is very aggressive when hunting. Even the anime dex entries mentions it not being very nice once it starts chasing you. In fact, this specific scenario is even depicted in the Pokemon Adventures manga, where it attacks a van Henry, Casey, Marvin, and Professor Magnolia were riding in. Another being on the official Pokemon website, it mentions how it is extremely vicious to the point that some trainers even release it. This all seems to link back into its origins from Snapping Turtles and the Alligator Snapping Turtle, where they are mentioned to have fierce dispositions, interestingly enough. Plus, its Chinese name etymology even contains the word for violent, which further supports this. It even learns a decent amount of dark type moves already, including the move Jawlock, a dark type move given to it upon its debut. The Colossal Line Ground Typing The reasoning for this mainly derives from the fact that it shares characteristics with other ground type Pokemon by inhabiting dry or arid locations which in this case are coal mines, caves, and mountainous landscapes that is reflected in the anime, animated miniseries such as Pokemon Twilight Wings, the official Pokemon website themselves, their in-game dex entries, and especially with Colossal's Japanese, French, German, Korean, and Chinese name etymologies, including the word for mountain or mountain coal mine. Even their in-game locations like Lakeside Cave, Gala Mine, and Stony Wilderness, to name a few, further support this point. In addition, it even learns a decent amount of ground-type moves already, including Dig and Scorching Sands, both being ground-type moves. Applin, Bug Typing So the main reason for this one comes from the fact that in its dex entries, and even photo dex entry, it implies that the creature can be born before burrowing into an apple, and judging by the Pokemon shape, its body seems to be comprised of an apple that explains the grass typing, and a seemingly green worm-like body and the way it moves in the games is likely depicting a worm, in other words, a type of bug. And this is likely supported by its supposed inspiration of the larvae of various moths like the codling moth, and in particular, the inchworm. In fact, its Japanese, French, Korean, and Chinese name etymologies contains the word for worm, but also bug or insect at the end, which only further support this point even more. The Center Scorch Line, Dark Typing. According to the official Pokemon website, Center Scorch at least is mentioned for having a violent and belligerent disposition that may cause it to indiscriminately attack anything that gets too close to it, which is also reflected in its dex entries as a dangerous and hostile Pokemon. This very well may be derived from the inspirations from centipedes as implied by their official designs and their name etymology in all available languages that are known to be aggressive as hunters in the wild, as well as the Omukade a colossal centipede from Japanese mythology who is known to be very violent and aggressive when hunting humans and dragons. Plus, they also learn a few amounts of dark type moves already. Grim Snarl, Fighting Typing Its in-game dex entries and even anime dex entries seem to imply that hairs act as muscle fibers which contribute to its considerable muscular strength, enough to overpower even Machamp, deliver powerful kicks, and leap over the Pokemon world's tallest building in its Gigantamax form. This is further expressed in its Pokemon category as the bulk up Pokemon, which could be interpreted as having considerable muscular strength, considering there is a fighting type move that does exactly this, which it does learn by the way, and having a high attack stat within the main series games. Plus, its English, Japanese, German, and Korean name etymologies imply that it's inspired from mythological and or folklore ogres, trolls, onis, goblins, Samson from the Hebrew Bible text, the Book of Judges, and Grandel from the Old English epic poem, Beowulf, all of which are known for their immense physical strength. This may be the reason why Grimmsnarl specifically can learn a large amount of fighting type moves already, including superpower, and as mentioned before, bulk up. Galarian Runerigus lines, rock typing respectively. To explain the rock typing for the Galarian forms, from what we know, they are stated to be based off Ingvar runestones, most likely the England runestones, which as the name suggests are made up of stone, but potentially large boulders or bedrock as well, which can be seen over Runrigus's design in Galarian Yarmas's clay slab. All this may explain why they and by proxy the Galarian forms are part of the mineral egg group. Runrigus's name etymology suggests this, as well as its Japanese, Korean, and Chinese names contains the words death and slab, hence desuban. And upon evolving, Runrigus is surprisingly able to learn a fair amount of rock type moves such as Sandstorm and Stealth Rocks to name a few. 
Frostmoth, flying typing. As indicated by its in-game 3D model, shape, and official artwork, it possesses wings which, what else, it uses to fly around. And as indicated by its Pokemon category and name etymology in all available languages, this is likely inspired by moths, including the clear winged moth, wild silk moths, arctic moths, and flannel moths, all of which are capable of flying just like frost moth. The main series games even showcase this when it's following you and even in the side series games like New Pokemon Snap when it's wandering around. It's shown flying around in the anime and even in the animated miniseries Pokemon Twilight Wings 2. And what's more is that the sentiment is blatantly backed up directly by its text entries in which it uses them to create blizzards. Never mind the fact that it can learn a great amount of flying type moves already including Feather Dance, Tailwind, and Dual Wing Beat. In DD, Fairy Typing. The main driving force for this one comes from its in-game dex entries and its anime dex entries in which it states that it is able to sense the emotions of others through its horns, hence why it is categorized as the emotion Pokemon, and by proxy is a characteristic of other fairy type Pokemon such as Togekiss, Sylveon, and Ralts to name a few. In addition, it is also part of the fairy egg group which houses Pokemon who are considered cute and petite just like other fairy types. This may in fact be indicative of its likely inspirations from brownies, household spirits from Scottish folklore that come out at night and perform various chores and farming tasks and subsequently are related to a subgroup of fairies including goblins and household spirits, or at least associated with fairies as sometimes pixies and fairies would do the work of the brownie. Similarly, it does also get access to a decent amount of fairy type moves already such as disarming voice. All four Gen 8 fossil Pokemon, rock typing. Now, as it has always been the case with past fossil Pokemon such as Cobbletops and Tyrantrum, they are always given the rock typing since they are revived from fossils, which all four clearly require in order to revive them, and thus should be no different with these four. In fact, they are even given the fossil Pokemon as their Pokemon category, just like Aerodactyl, another part rock type fossil Pokemon despite not being one themselves. In addition, all four can even learn a decent amount of rock type moves already including Meteor Beam that is predominantly learned by rock types including all the other fossil Pokemon among others. The Dragapult line, Flying Typing. Despite them being part ghost, Dragapult can unmistakably learn the move Fly in the main series games among other flying type moves, which implies that it and subsequently Dracloak use their triangular shaped heads for flight which is mentioned in Dracloak's in-game and anime dex entries, blatantly referencing the fact that it can fly faster than speeds of 120 miles per hour. And in Dreepy's case, it's known for flying out of Dracloak's and Dragapult when using Dragon Darts. This is despite the fact that the entire line can be seen flying in the anime, Pokemon Adventures manga, and in animated miniseries such as Pokemon Twilight Wings. All this may possibly be in reference to a stealth bomber and fighter aircrafts as is likely the case with Dracloak and with Dragapult being suggested to be inspired by the body of the Northrop B2 spirit. The Galarian Snowpoke line, water typing. To put it simply, their regional forms don't significantly change them like Galarian Rapidash for example and still retains that association to water despite being a regional form. For instance, they still retain their aquatic hermit crab and or otter inspirations as indicated by their Japanese names, and in Slowbro and Slowking's case, they share connections to the magical sea demon Sazai Oni from Japanese folklore upon evolving, as in they still like to inhabit places containing water such as seashores and riverbanks confirmed by the official Pokemon website, in the anime, in the animated miniseries Pokemon Twilight Wings blatantly, and even in the games such as Challenge Beach, Frigid Sea and Balamir Lake to name a few. Not to mention they also even retain their connection to the Water 1 egg group, in addition to all of them still retaining the ability to learn an abundance of water type moves including ones like Surf and Whirlpool. Both Ice Rider and Shadow Rider K-Rex, Grass Typing. Simply put, K-Rex does not change entirely upon taking these forms as it's not like it's merged with them to create something entirely different. So the reasonings for why K-Rex is part grass type should not change since psychic typing is kept upon transforming. Which in this case, according to its dex entries, it seems to derive from its connection to plant growth and bringing lush vegetation as shown in the games, as well as being known as the king of bountiful harvest and healing capabilities. This could also explain why upon taking these forms, it can still learn a massive amount of grass type moves such as Giga Drain, Seed Bomb, and Grassy Terrain 
along with its connection to plants, which may be suggested and referenced in its name etymology in every language, they contain the word bud, a compact growth of a plant that eventually develops into a leaf or flower, plus its French name etymology includes the word forest, which it does inhabit, and carex, which are known as grass-like plants. Some other relevant inspirations may be from the thristle, a group of flower plants with leaves as sharp as prickles, and from the ghost from English folklore, Hearn the Hunter, who is associated with forests. All of this may be indicative of the green shading on its head on its official design that would only further support this connection. As a side note, the same reasons for why Glacestria and Spectria should be part dark type applies here too. The Hisuian Zora line, dark typing. Come on, their designs give off a sinister look, especially Zoroark noted for being the embodiment of death. They are categorized as the spiteful and baneful Pokemon, which describes them as malicious and harmful respectively. This ties into their backstory of how they grew spiteful of humans who casted them out and getting into conflict with other Pokemon, unable to survive the harsh environment, the undead spirits live on in their regional forms, being reborn by the malice they feel towards humans and Pokemon. Dark, isn't it? They are even said to go out of their way to inflict spiteful illusions onto people and Pokemon they come across in the move Bitter Malice, feeding off of their terror and showcasing aggressive and an extremely hostile nature, especially Zoroark as noted on the official Pokemon website. Their illusions are so strong they can cause trauma, suffering, and possibly death which could connect to its inspirations from vengeful ghosts and revenants. Their next common amount of moves they can learn are dark type ones, and as is the case with Yenovian Zoroark, its name and etymology are blatantly made up of the words Zoro, which is Spanish for fox, and Aku for evil or dark in Japanese, hence evil fox. The Hisuian Quillfish Line, Water Typing Simply put, everything about this quillfish and subsequently overquill is practically the same as Jotonian quillfish, think about it. They both still inhabit waters, which is reflected in Legends of Arceus at the Cobalt Coastlands. They are still part of the Water 2 egg group that contains fish like Pokemon. Hisuian quillfish is despised by fishermen in the Hisui region from fishing it up in the sea where it belongs, and Overcoast Dex entries even give it the title of Sea Fiend in relation to its behavior and where it inhabits. Both have the ability Swift Swim, which is predominantly given to water type Pokemon. They learn an abundance of water type moves already. And there's even a story called the Sea Legend in the Canalave Library in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, where it mentions the brave human asking Pokemon to help him see the prince, which includes Mantike, Weasel, and get this, Overquill. They are based off aquatic marine life such as pufferfishes, porcupine fish, and lionfish, and its name in all available languages contain the word fish, or in Japanese reference the porcupine fish.